What is going on, Charles Botenstein? Today we're going to be talking about a sensitive subject to everyone because they say masculinity, femininity, no, we don't need any of that. We're all the same. We're just one amorphous individual. We're just, we're just one organism. That's incorrect, all right? There's two different types of energies. There's the feminine energy, which is about 98% of all women, and 98% of all men have a masculine energy, or at least they should. Uh, on both sides. Why? Because they complement each other. It's good. I don't know where this thing about feminine is bad or masculine is bad. Like, I don't understand that. Like, we need each other because we complement each other. It's yin and yang. When you see a very masculine guy as a guy, say it's a guy that just, you know, picked up a log. You know, if you want to just go brute force, you know, picked up a log. You also want to pick up a log or at least show your worthiness as well. I'll give you an example. I was at the gym and the, the guy next to me, so we're going to, into a gym class. It's like a CrossFit style and he gets 25 pound weights. And I was going to go with 20 pounds, but once he went 25 pounds, I was like, I don't want to be that guy. So I picked up 25s as well. It was bigger than me and everything else. But that competition is necessary because it, it pushes us along. Having a strong, good masculine figure is amazing because leadership, the ability to have courage, the ability to have a vision and accomplish that is masculinity. Obviously, there's other traits to that. But we, once that is present, the masculine traits are present, present, president, are, are present, feminine energy comes in. Here's the example. So recently, obviously I've, I've grown out some facial hair, is that for whatever reason, I've gotten more attention a little different. So when I didn't have facial hair and I was wearing a suit and everything else, girls, you know, they would look and everything else. But since the facial hair... They have been more kind. They have been a little bit more girly, which is what I like. I don't, I, I don't want to go out on a date and have the girl be cursing more than me. I don't want to have the girl be competing with me. Oh, that was a good story. I got to one up you. I don't want her to be saying bro or dude or man. Yo, man. Like, when, uh, no, no, that's just not attractive. It's the same thing if you were a girl and a guy walks up and they're like, oh my gosh. I love your belt. This is such a nice belt. I love the outfit and everything else. You'd say, well, he's my gay best friend, you know, but you're not going to sleep with your gay best friend. Okay. It's the same thing with a masculine energy. If you have a masculine energy, you use that for your business. You also use that as making decisions. Okay. There's a lot of choices to be made every single day. If as a masculine figure or as the masculine energy, and you don't make right, de right decisions or you don't even make any decisions, that's not bringing in any feminine energy. In other words, if obviously we're talking about mostly heterosexual relationships, but even in the gay community, you have a masculine and a feminine energy. In other words, you can't, you can't have both, okay? I thought I wanted both, okay? I thought I wanted a very you know, alpha female, you know, as they call it here in New York City. I thought I wanted that alpha female. No, it's not. Because it's, it, it's, she's always competing. You know, she, she acts like a dude. She's, she's just very logical. And it's just not attractive. And then recently I was like, wow, I really like the openness, the freedom, the ability for them to just go on like this emotional roller coaster and be completely fine with it. They're like, oh my gosh, that's so crazy. No way. And they do that. And I'm like, how do you do that? That is, that needs to be studied. How you go on that emotional roller coaster and you're completely fine with it. You know, they, they've talked about people buy with emotion, they justify it with logic. Well, for any relationship, for anything to happen, it's obviously based on how you feel. And guys, we're not good, not good at actually doing that. So when the masculine is present, like the beard, girls are going to be girly. When the feminine is feminine, the masculine shows up. Why the masculine shows up? The masculine shows up because he feels like he needs to protect you. He feels like he needs to do something for you. He feels he, he, that, that's his calling. That's his calling, okay? And when you have two of the same energies, it's really, really hard to have it work out. You, you see it sometimes in relationships, say, as public figures, where they're both the same person. They're usually both masculine energies. Rarely you're going to see a public figure as, as feminine energies, or at least they're putting it on. So when the masculine is there, the feminine comes out. And when the feminine is there, the masculine comes out because it gives each of you the ability to fill your role. Fill your role as the masculine energy or as the feminine energy. And by the way, it's not bad, okay? Stop this bullshit that feminine energy is bad or masculine energy is bad. It's energy that we need to embrace. 
because that's how we come together, okay? We need to embrace how we feel, what we need to do to make just paths a little bit easier for, for young boys and young girls to become successful in their areas of whatever life or whatever region calls them. So that's my little rant about that and enough of the, the putting down of both energies and trying to become one, there is a difference, okay? So leave your comments below. <laughs> it's probably gonna be a lot. Like, share, and subscribe.